Guys, what's going on? Welcome to DJ TLM TV. My name is DJ TLM, and this video is about the brand new version of Serato Video. Serato just released their first update to Serato Video for Serato DJ, and that's Serato Video 1.1. And it has a couple of brand new features, but there's one feature in particular that I'm pretty excited about, and that is the fact that you can now record your video mix inside the Serato software. Now, that is a great update because before this time, if you had uh, Serato Video or even the older version, Video SL, you could, of course, record your video if you had some way to record the video output from your laptop. But with this new update, you don't have to go through any trouble because all you have to do is change a couple of settings inside the software and then it will record your entire video mix. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now and after that I'll talk about some of the other features that are included in this brand new update. Let's take a look right now. I have Serato DJ right here and if you're new to Serato Video and you haven't used it before, once you install it, you don't see it in Serato DJ yet. You have to go to your setup menu and in the expansion packs tab, you have to enable Serato Video and once you enable that, you now have that button right there, video, and you can now open it and you will get Serato video. This is a pop-up window. This is the video output that you normally send or just you slide it over to your external monitor or to a Beamer, but we don't need that right now. And in order to record, we have to go back to the setup menu because under the audio tab, you have record channel. Now, if you record audio or video, you're gonna to have to choose a record channel. And in this case, I'm gonna take channel, well, I can take channel one or four because I'm only using channel two and three for my turntables. So I did that. That's all you have to do in your setup menu and you're done. Now you can go to the record button and record is enabled now. And here you have mix. If I would press record now, it would just record my mix, my audio mix. You can also choose an individual channel, but now when you press it, you also get a new option, video mix. Now this is enabled. If I hit record now, it will record the video mix. You can choose a custom location, your record location. So in my case, I already made a folder called Serato Video Bounces. So I'll choose that folder. And that's all you have to do. Now I can just hit record. I'll run over to the turntables and just do anything just so you can see how it works. So record. Hey there, welcome to my channel, DJ, 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 DJ TLM TV, I'm DJ TLM. Uh, that's more than enough. So once you're done, you press record again. And in the little tab right there, you can now choose a name. So I'll call this test vid one and save it. Now, as soon as you save your first recorded mix, it will give you a new crate right here. And this crate is called recorded. And in that crate, you can find whatever you recorded. But of course, we also made the custom folder. So if I go to my video folder, Serato video bounces, there you go, test vid. And I'm gonna open that test vid right now so we can see what happens if we open that in a player. Test vid one. Let me make that full screen. Hey there, welcome to my channel, DJ, 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 DJ,
Wow, that is a pretty sight right there, man. <laughs> now, this is not distorted because of the, the quality. This is because the crossfader mode that was enabled is called melt. And <laughs> this is what it does to the, to the screen, it melts. You have a lot of options of different effects and in this case melt was selected so this is what happened when I use my crossfader but as you see you now have a video file of the mix that you just did of course this wasn't a real mix just a little test to show you but it works perfectly and this way you have uh, a video file within seconds after doing your video mix so I'm pretty excited about that and that's a very cool feature and to change the subject just a little bit, this is uh, a very good first indication for you to see what happens if you stick with Serato Scratch Live and don't move on to Serato DJ because you have Serato Video in Serato Scratch Live, but this brand new update, for instance, is for Serato Video in Serato DJ. And I've tried it, I've opened my Serato Scratch Live and if I open my Serato video, you don't have the option to record your video mix. Now, there were a couple of other features that were added as well. They were pretty cool. And one of those is that you now have audio linked video effects. So you can now use your isotope effects on the audio, but they will also affect the video at the same time. They added uh, some new audio reactive content. So I think it's five five compositions that will react to any audio that's played with it. And there's now support for Windows 8 and support for uh, OS X Mavericks. And one more, this is also a Mac only uh, uh, feature. They now have Siphon support, Siphon Siphon. I haven't heard of it before, but it allows you to share your video output with um, other applications in real time. Now, I can't explain that because I have to check what that does exactly. Like I said, I hadn't heard of it before, but that's all new features that I just mentioned that are available if you're using Serato DJ. If you're using Serato Scratch Live, you can't use those features. So now you're gonna start to see slowly, you're gonna start to see more and more updates that are not available if you're still using Scratch Live. So you can still have fun with it and DJ with it, but if you're like me and you like new technology and new updates, you're gonna have to find a way to switch to Serato DJ because especially with this video update right here, man, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this and I'm gonna be uploading, not on my channel, but I'll send you links when I have some video mixes that you can check out, maybe on my DJ TLM channel. So I hope you enjoyed this info and if you have Serato video, have fun and start recording some of your video mixes. If you like what you just saw, make sure that you click like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Check djtlmtv.com and I'll be back real soon and I will be doing Serato video tutorials in the near future as well. All right, guys, take care.